Hello everyone, Namisha here from English Phone. So in this video, I'll be discussing about the latest changes in PT Academic, which is going to be effective from November 16th, 2021. So students who have already booked their exams before November, 20, November 16th, you, have, you don't have to be worried about this, but students who are planning to take the exam after November 16th of 2021, there are gonna be changes. It is not going to be the same as before but you have nothing to be worried about. These are very minor changes. There are no significant changes to the exam structure. Only the duration of the exam is changing. So previously, the exam duration was maximum three hours. It will be the same till November 16th. From 16th onwards, from November 16th onwards, the exam is going to take only maximum two hours time, which is a good change, I would say. So exam is going to get better. So to explain these in detail, I'll just start sharing the screen with you. Okay, so first of all, the change is going to be effective from the date of November 16th, 2021. Until then, the exam is just going to be the same as it used to be before. So the first of all, let's discuss about what is not changing because there are a lot of rumors going outside and which is scaring people. So there's nothing to be worried about. So these things are not changing the following. The exam difficulty. So many people out there saying it is going to get more difficult, which I've been hearing since the beginning of PT. The exam structure always remains the same. It is not going to get easier. It's not going to get harder either. So the exam complexity or the difficulty of the exam, the compl complexity of the question types, it is going to be the same. There, is, there are no changes to the exam difficulty, not going to be easier, easier, not going to be harder. So you still have to practice the same way that you have used to. And the question types, you're going to get all the 20 question types in the exam. You, we are not cutting out any question types. You will get all the 20 items in the exam. None of them will be removed. The score requirements. This is also a major concern among students. So the score requirements, I mean, uh, some students need a band seven, which is equivalent to 65 out of 90. Some need band six, which is equal to 50 out of 90. Some need band eight, which is equal to 79 out of 90. So there are no changes to this either. So if you're doing PT for your visa requirements, if you need band eight, you still need to get minimum 79 in each of the modules out of 90. If you need it for your student visa or for your uni entry, most probably you will need band six or band seven. So if you need band six, you still need to get 50 out of 90. And if you need band seven, you still need to get 65 out of 90. So there are no changes to that as well. So the difficulty is not gonna change. The question types are not gonna change. The score requirements are not gonna change. Also the scoring criteria of the items. So there is defined scoring criteria or scoring structure for every item of PT, not going to change. It is the same scoring system. It is still being evaluated by a computer. So whatever we learned in the classes, the techniques and the strategies and the templates, all you can use the same. There are not gonna be any changes regarding the scoring. So you can still use the same strategies and the same techniques. So this is the part most people are worried about. So this definitely is not a concern to us because the exam structure or the scoring criteria is not going to change. So you can still follow the same techniques which you have been practicing, the same strategies, the same templates and the same practice plan. Please follow the same. It's not going to get easier or harder. So you still have to practice the same way that you used to. All right, now what is changing? So this is the main change in the exam, the duration. So previously the exam used to take maximum three hours time. Now it is changing to maximum two hours time. So what I have seen among my students, even though you have three hours time, many students on an average finish within around two to two and a half hours. So let's say two and a half hours. So when the exam is going to be two hours, most probably you will finish within one and a half hours, most probably. Depends on how fast you answer the questions. Now, obviously, when the duration of the exam changes, of course, there will be fewer number of questions in certain items. All the items, so there is a total of 20 items in PT. All the items are not changing. Some of the items, you are going to get fewer number of questions. For example, initially, in describe image, you used to get six to seven images. From now onwards, from 16, November 16th onwards, you're going to get only three to four of them. So the, now some of the questions are going to reduce in number. All the questions would be there, the same exam structure, the same scoring structure, only certain questions, you will get fewer. 
and another major change is there won't be any break before the listening session so the usual exam structure is speaking first writing second reading third after reading you will have an optional break of 10 minutes time and after the break you have listening but from november 16th onward the break will be removed so speaking writing reading listening all are going to be back to back you won't have the optional break which means you should be prepared it is better if you can visit the restroom before you start the test uh, and anyway i don't think it's going to be much of an issue because you it will take only maximum 2 hours time so there won't be any break so be prepared and uh, the overall appearance of your score report so until now in our score report we can see two sets of skills one is the communicative skills which are the four modules speaking writing reading and listening and at the bottom of the scorecard we used to see enabling skills which helps the trainers to understand where you're actually lacking so enabling skills include grammar oral fluency pronunciation spelling vocabulary written discourse so that part from your score report will be removed so from now onwards uh, it's not exactly clear according to the explanation most probably you will have only the communicative skills present in your scorecard the enabling skills will not be shown on your scorecard anymore but there is a feedback report available to you uh, we don't know how it is going to look like either so we'll have to wait till november 16 to how, to understand how it is going to look like so the the score report will not have enabling skills but you will have an extra feedback report from where you can analyze and understand what can be improved or what went wrong in your exam all right now going into the details of the number of questions change so the first thing the duration of the change in duration so always the exam starts with your personal introduction which again is not an evaluated component so you don't have to be worried about this too much uh, it's not an evaluated part there is no scoring for your personal introduction and the computer used to give you 1 minute before it is still going to be the same you will still have 1 minute in the 2 hour format as well and speaking and writing it used to take 77 to 93 minutes to finish now you're going to get 54 to 67 minutes which means the number of questions in speaking and writing will be significantly lower because you there's a lot of time reduced and for reading it used to take 32 to 41 minutes from now onwards you will get only 29 to 30 minutes and as we already discussed the optional 10 minute break which you get before the listening module it will be removed in the 2 hour format and in the listening section you used to get 45 to 57 minutes now it is going to be 30 to 43 minutes again significantly less a time now how is the computer going to manage the time reduction so definitely obviously if the time is time is reduced the number of questions also should be reduced so there is changes in the question number so personal introduction you will have it only once both in 3 hour as well as 2 hour format for read aloud there are no changes it used to be 6 to 7 questions again it is going to be 6 to 7 in the 3 2 hour format as well repeat sentence also the same used to be 10 to 12 again it is going to be 10 to 12 describe image used to be 6 to 7 now in the 2 hour format you would get only 3 to 4 questions retell lecture used to be 3 to 4 going to be 1 to 2 questions answer short questions significantly less you used to get 10 to 12 questions you're going to get only 5 to 6 from november 16th onwards and in the writing part your summarized written text you used to get 2 to 3 questions from november onwards 1 to 2 questions which is saving a lot of time because one summary itself will take around 10 minutes time and for the essay you used to get 1 to 2 still going to be the same 1 to 2 questions in the 2 hour test format as well and majority of the students usually get only one essay hopefully that's going to stay the same Uh, and the overall speaking and writing questions used to take 39 uh, you used to get 39 to 48 questions from now onwards you will get only 28 to 36 questions a lot of difference now when it comes to the reading part your fill in the blanks reading and writing you used to get 5 to 6 it is going to be the same there are no changes 5 to 6 in two of test format as well in multiple choice multiple answer you used to get 2 to 3 questions before from 16th on november on november 16th onwards 1 to 2 in reorder paragraphs 2 to 3 still the same in the 2 hour format fill in the blanks also stays the same 4 to 5 questions before 2 hour format also 4 to 5 questions multiple choice single answer is changing you used to get 2 to 3 questions for the 2 hour test format you will get only really 1 to 2 questions so the number of questions in reading used to be 15 to 
from November, it will be 13 to 18. So you will have significantly lesser time and lesser number of questions too. And for the listening, summarized spoken text used to be two to three questions. In the two hour test format, you will get only one to two. Multiple choice, multiple answer used to be two to three. In two hour format, you will get only one to two questions. Fill in the blanks listening, two to three. Again, the same, it is going to stay the same, two to three questions. Highlight correct summary used to be two to three. In two hours, it is going to change to one to two. Multiple choice single answer was two to three, will be one to two. Select missing word was two to three, will be one to two. Highlight and correct words, there are no changes. You used to get two to three, will be going to be one, two to three again. Write from dictation also the same, used to be three to four, will be three to four again. So overall in listening, you used to get 15 to 22 questions. Now onwards, you will get only 12 to 20. So these are the major changes in your uh, overall PT exam duration, as well as the number of questions. So you can clearly see these are not a major changes, very simple changes, uh, which looks better in, for me, I would say, because you can finish the exam faster, you can finish within less than two hours and get it done and dusted. And the exam still is be, being evaluated by your computer. So nothing changes in terms of your preparation. Uh, all you need to be uh, concerned about is you should know when, when you're going to get the next question. So you need to be a little bit uh, like clear about how many questions you get in each. So you know what question you're going to get next. All right. So this is pretty much what we'll be discussing about today in this video. So make sure you subscribe and share the video with others, other students or other friends as well. So they can also get the latest news about PT. And of course, uh, make sure to watch the strategy videos. We have already discussed the techniques and strategies and all the components of PT in the other videos. So subscribe and share with your friends. And if you need me to do any particular topics or any videos about anything in particular, please put it in the comment box. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you.